Hello everyone and welcome back to YK Reviews. For today's video and today's review, we're going to be discussing Top Gun Maverick. So let's get into it. <laughs> comes to Top Gun, I'll be honest, I saw the original movie when I was a kid, so I never got to appreciate how good of a movie the original one was. So I rewatched it earlier this year and I gotta say it was such a great movie, really up there as like one of the top greats. And my plan was to originally watch this sequel in the cinema, but everything just came work, life just all of that came crashing down so I wasn't able to go see it in the cinema so I just recently watched it and I am speechless with how great this movie is like it's up there is probably the best movie and I'm going to say this right now the best movie of 2022 hands down so far it was so so great better than the original and that's saying something there that's how great this movie is so when it comes to like Top Gun Maverick when it comes to like just the music, for example, the nostalgia when it comes to the music, you have like the um, 80s music that you had in the first movie showing up in this movie here. You had the fan service that it just, the fan service that they delivered was so great. And the certain scenes you just, you just have to appreciate it and just absorb what you're watching. Like there was one particular scene, like the piano scene with Miles Teller's character Rooster which I'll also get into as well him the, doing the piano scene in the bar like you just see you look at that you remember Goose in the first movie and like that piano scene and the song they're playing you just it's just so great to watch I was smiling ear to ear watching that scene and pretty much throughout the whole movie watching that you have certain scenes throughout the whole movie so you have uh, you have the two characters, you've got, um, of course, Tom Cruise as, like, Maverick. You've got then uh, Miles Teller playing Rooster, Goose's son. And you have, like, that conflict between them, and which I thought played out so well. You see the elements of Goose, you see the elements of Rokra in uh, Maverick's face. You see the conflict that he has, and, and it just made for such great storyline, great storytelling throughout the whole movie you this there's scenes in particular where at the right moments you address like the elephant in the room essentially between the two characters so it was just so fun to watch it's so great to watch it's not just about what happened to his father but there's other elements to it which i found really great to watch and throughout the movie you understand basically what why there's such a gripe between the two of them, between Miles Teller and um, Tom Cruise. Because um, as you know, um, Maverick basically has stopped Rooster from progressing in his career. And he did it because of um, Goose's wife, his mother, but he, he doesn't know that. So you have that throughout the movie, you know, like it's not just about losing his father, it's more about like his career being dera derailed for four years essentially because of Maverick so you have these certain elements certain scenes and it just makes for great entertainment and Rooster like Miles Teller's character you really enjoy his character throughout the whole movie like I loved Rooster I loved his character and especially when the first flying scenes when Maverick is teaching the new cadets to fly and everything like that. I love the intensity and the fierceness you see between Maverick and um, Rooster. Like I loved that first flying scene in particular because of like the because of the intense intensity between the two characters, which I just found so great to watch. And when it comes to the flying, the flying, I know it was mostly done as like real real flying and not too much CGI and the flight scenes it was mesmerizing like it was so great to watch you see flying from the first movie but it's the scale of it is double that from the from the beginning of the movie to the end of the movie every scene involving the planes you couldn't take your eyes off it it was just so great to watch so amazing to like see how the planes maneuver 
the scene in the beginning, the opening scene, when he's trying to get to like uh, knock twenty, knock ten, sorry. You can feel the intensity. You can feel that just by Tom Cruise's flying. I loved every single bit of it, and for me, when it comes to like these aviation type movies, you like it doesn't really catch my eye because what can you do with it? But with Top Gun, they just blow it out the water when it comes to that and I'm so happy with what they did with this movie when it comes to like the plot itself I love what they did with um, Maverick in the movie itself like I love how they give him the conflict in the beginning basically telling him that he has to like teach even though Ru he knows Roosters in the class needing like needing him to teach the class basically because of what is because of what is required from the actual like mission itself and then throughout the movie like the plot where he Tom Cruise knows what he has to do to train these pilots and pushes them on the edge and like I just love like what they did with Tom Cruise's character like what they did with his plot and like, his character arc and like what he has to do to like get the best out of these um, pilots it just came across so well written so well developed I cannot speak highly about this movie itself and especially when it comes to Val Kilman's scenes like that was so emotional to watch because as you see in the movie he's mostly talking through like a um, keyboard like he's speaking through a keyboard basically so like when Tom Cruise comes to visit him he's typing what he wants to say to Tom Cruise's character but then when you don't have that talk, that speech interaction you just you feel it even more like there were not much words were said between them because of like the situation but you feel that emotion and it just it was so strong to watch and then when he does event because as you know he like when he gets up and he does talk you just can't help but just sit there and be mesmerized with that scene and like the interaction between them and i just I just found it so great to watch. I just couldn't take my eyes off the screen the whole time. And so then once it comes to like that, his funeral scene, like Iceman's funeral scene, it was just, it, it was gut-wrenching and it was emotional. Like I found that mo I found that scene in particular really, really great. And, and Tom Cruise was especially great in this movie. You cannot give him enough credit for like how he portrayed Maverick. And because he, you, you aren't expecting like, the Ethan Hunt character or like a Tom Cruise character because the sequel was so far from the original movie you might think of um, Tom Cruise being like a watered down version of it but he just slipped into that role so perfectly and I give him such high credit for like what he did in the movie itself and then when it comes to the whole like third act when it comes to the act because as you know in the movie they have to like fly very low to avoid um, the enemy, the targeting system, the radar system. They have to fly so incredibly no low. So when Tom Cruise Maverick has to show his like higher ups that the mission can be done because of what he needs to do, getting there at a certain time, having to do that, showing them that, it was so intense. And then so the third act, once they get to like the enemy um, base, having to destroy the uranium, you just it's intense it's mind-blowing the scenes are the flying scenes especially like i cannot talk enough about it everything came across so well and then you have the drama of like the flying scenes the um the shootouts the um, interaction between the planes and then when it comes to like as i mentioned earlier with with rooster and maverick having to like as they're on land having to go and um having to go and retrieve the plane to like escape back it was one of my favorite third acts of a movie it just great and i i would i will watch this again in a heartbeat because of like what the movie went through in terms of my emotions and the roller coaster of um emotions that it did give me i love this movie itself and i have to give a shout out to like the other characters there when you have when you have got Hangman who um, who's playing this like little cocky, um, arrogant, arrogant um, character, but you can't hate him. He's kind of like the Iceman of the um, 
of this version of the movie and what he does at the end saving Rooster, saving um, Maverick he I, I really enjoyed this character and then the um, other characters the other cadets that um, Maverick is training you've got Bob Phoenix Payback uh, fanboy like those other characters were so great in the movie itself too like everybody you cared so much because these are new characters that are being introduced in the movie you care so much about them you care so much about what happens to them they played their role so perfectly and so that's why I, I had no negatives when it comes to this movie I have no, no negatives when it comes to this review it was a sequel done right every character from past and new blended together so well gave a great storyline gave a great performance and that's why I highly, highly recommend Top Gun Maverick. If you haven't seen the first Top Gun movie, you need to go watch that movie first because I, when I watched it first as a kid, I didn't get to appreciate it until I rewatched it again. And so this movie tops that movie. And as I said before, and I'm saying it again now, it's best the best movie of this year so far. It's that much of a great movie. And I highly, highly recommend it. I just wish that I could have watched it in the cinema with the big screens on IMAX just to watch those flying sequences, the plane scenes on the big screen but I'm so glad I got to watch this movie and I will definitely be watching it again because it's up there as the, such a great movie but this is my take and my thoughts on the movie if you have seen the movie please let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of it or what you thought of the original one compared to this one here and if you haven't seen it definitely definitely go watch it but thank you so much for watching here please hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos we've got plenty more videos coming out keep an eye out on the um, august tier ranking that will be posted um, very soon on the channel here but again thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the support this is yk reviews